Hi friends, I'm Parwiz and in this video I'm going to show you that how you can convert uh, your .py file into executable file or .exe file. And uh, also we're going to learn that how you can create an installer, set up an installer for your application. Now, first we will uh, convert a simple uh, Python code. It will be a hello world code and after that we will create a simple application a simple GUI application using PyQt5 a simple GUI window we can say uh, using PyQt5 and after that we convert our .py file to exe file and at the end we create an installer or setup for the application now for example if you have built a GUI application in PyQt5 or tkinter or wx python any gui library and uh, better we can say that it's a software and you want to distribute the software or you have a website and you want to add the software in the website that everyone can download and install that on the computer so now we will uh, do this in this video now for converting of the python file to exe file or executable file you need to just install Py installer. So there are a lot of libraries, but we are going to use Py installer. It's one of the best library that uh, uh, I'm always using. So you can just install this, and it's the latest version. And you can just use pip install py installer. Now this is for the converting of .py file to executable file. Now we need another software that's called InnoSetup. So this software is used for creating setup and installer. Now you can just go to this GRS, grsoftware.org and you can download from here. If you come down and here we have Eno setup. So it is the latest version and you can just download from here. Uh, so I have already downloaded and installed uh, this uh, software and also I've already installed by installer. Now let's start our coding. The first thing I need, uh, I'm going to just uh, create a simple hello world Python code. Uh, so Python and I'm going to just call it, for example, uh, hello. And in here I want to just say print hello world. Now first we will convert this uh, Python file. Now right now you can see that if I run this, it's just a simple Python code and we have hello world in the console now it's a .py file and now it's time we want to convert this .py file to .exe file uh, for this you need to copy your this file in the scripts folder of your python installation so now if you're using pycharm id you can see that in the external uh, in the external libraries we have a python 3.7 and uh, uh, in here and the Python installation we have our scripts folder now this is this is the place that we need to add our Python code this hello.py in here so now let me just copy this code and paste so first let me just remove these two okay now in here I'm going to just paste uh, this hello.py so copy and paste okay now we have our hello.py in here and in here we need to open our terminal so we can just right click and we can just open in terminal in here okay now this is our scripts folder so you can see that this is the location Python 3.7 and the scripts folder now in here we can just say py installer and after that we are going to just use one file now you can use this one dir uh, so now let me just say the difference between these two if you see the documentation of py installer now one dir it create a one folder bundle containing an executable so it's the default uh, you can use this uh, D or you could use one DIR now if you use one file it create a one file bundled executable file 
and you can see you can use if or one file now we're going to use this one file and we want to add our all for example modules if you have some modules uh, we want to add this just in one executable file now so one file and after that you need to just uh, add your in here you need to write your Python file name so it was uh, hello dot pi so pi installer one file and hello dot pi dash dash one file hello dot pi now we are going to enter this and now I'm waiting for this it will create the exe file for us now it will be completed okay now you can see it's completed and uh, now if you see in the scripts folder uh, let me just uh, you can see we have two new folders we have build and we have test uh, so now you can see in the test we have hello.exe now let me just open this scripts folder uh, show in explorer and in the you can see that the script is uh, located in the python 3.7 installation now you can see that these two are the new folders that we have and we have build so this is build for the hello and we have dist this is the location that our exe is located now if i run this so you can see we have just hello world in here and it's opening and it's going to be closed now this was just a simple uh, basic uh, code, uh, Python code. Now we want to convert a PyQt5 GUI application, GUI window, into executable file. And after that we are going to just create a setup installer for our GUI application. Alright guys, now this is my PyQt5 simple window. Now I want to convert this, so it's just a simple window. And if you're following my YouTube channel, you will know about PyQt5. So now, uh, in here I have just imported from PyQt5.qt widgets, Q application, widget, Q VBox layout, and also label. And these are my imports. And after that, I have created a window example class that extends from Q widget. It's my top level window. And now in here I have set the geometry of the window. This is the X and Y position and also width and height of the window. This is the title of the window. This is the icon of the window. I have python.ico. This is an icon. And also this is the background color. I have uh, set red color background for the window. And here I have created a vertical box layout with a label. Uh, because I have added a label of please subscribe my channel and this is for setting the font of the label this is the color of the label and at the end we need to add the label to the vertical box layout and also we need to set our main window layout to the vbox layout and this is our Q application and you can uh, so this is for command line works and you can just remove this uh, if you don't want to use uh, this is the object of our window and in here we need to show our window and this is our loop now this is just a simple uh, window I want to con first I want to convert this to the executable file and after that I'm going to create installer for this now the first thing I need I'm going to just remove these these two build and dist files from the scripts folder uh, let me just remove these three files from here okay now after this we are going to copy our this file with the icon because we have an icon for the window now we need to also copy this so let me just copy the Python file and also the icon and I want to bring this in the scripts folder okay now after this we are going to open our terminal in here let me just say open in terminal 
Okay, now this is our scripts folder. Now in here we can just say pi installer. Uh, we are going to just use one file for this. And also we are going to add window mode. We don't want to uh, create, a, for example, console with our GUI application. So you can use W or like this also you can use window and after that we are going to just add icon for the window so it is python.ico and at the end you need to give the name of your python file so it oh, it was window.py py installer one file window and icon window.py now let me just run this so now I am waiting for the converting my .py file to .exe. It will take some times because I'm using PyQt5 modules and you can see that it's importing all modules in here. Uh, Qt core and also Now I think it's completed and I will wait. All right guys, now it's completed and now we are going to check our scripts folder. You can see that we have two files in here, build and dist. And I'm going to just open this, show in Explorer, uh, scripts. So these are the two folders. Uh, so these are the packages and modules. Now let me just open the dist. You can see that we have our window.exe in here. Now if I open this, Okay, this is our simple window, GUI application window that we have built in PyQt5 and we have converted to .exe file. Now we want to create an installer for this. Now right now you can just directly open this file or this application we can see. But we want to create a setup or an installer for this application. For this, I have already said that you need to install a new setup. Uh, I have already downloaded. Just you can download from here and install this. Okay, now after installation of the Inu setup, you need to just create a new folder. So I have called it app.exe. And in the app.exe, you need to just create another folder, app installer. And I have added my icon also in here. Now you need to copy your files uh, from these two files built and also dist. Let me just copy these two and paste these two files in here. Okay, now these are our files. And after that, we need to open our Inu setup. So this is the Inu setup. And I'm going to just say file new. And in here we are going to click on next. Okay, now in here you need to give your application name, your application version. So I'm going to just give it for the application name, for example, uh, PyQt5 GUI application. And in here we need to give the version of the application. For the version, I'm going to just give it version 1. You can give your application uh, application publishers. So for example, Geeks Coders. And you can give the website in here. Uh, Geekscoders.com And after that, click on Next. And here you don't need to bring any change. So I'm going to just click on Next. And in here, you need to add your main executable file. You need to just click on the browse. And from the desktop, we are going to just open uh, our app.exe folder. And in here, uh, it was in our uh, dist. And this is window.exe. 
and in here you need to add your additional folders for the file uh, this is app installer click on OK yes after this click on the on the next and uh, we are going to just click uh, on next so in here you can add your license uh, some information about the application or software I'm going to just leave it blank uh, you can choose uh, any mode from here I want to use the default one uh, this is the language of the application or software and in here you need to add the output uh, the output of the file so I want it should be in my this uh, PXE folder this is the name I'm going to just give it myself if you want you can change it and also we need to just add an icon and here you can add icon for your software or application uh, so and here I have the icon python.ico and you can set password I don't need any password let me just click on next next and finish now you need to just click on yes it will create uh, a script Inu script so you can just give a name for the script by this script you can bring change to your installation let me just click on save and now I'm waiting for the setup so you can see that it will take some time for this and I'm waiting for the completion so 23 22 and it will take a little bit all right guys now it's completed yeah uh, and now if you see your folder you can see we have my setup.exe now let me just click on this and now you can see I have an installer this is my PyKT5 GUI application version 1 and you can choose where you want to install this you can just click on next you can create desktop shortcut I'm not using click on next and install so now I'm waiting for the installation of uh, so you can see that it's window.exe I'll switch this finish you can see that this is our simple application that we have created also you can check this that you have this or not and it was by QT5 you can see that it's installed by QT5 GUI application and we can open this now this is our application so like this you can work with the installer and also uh, with the exe files uh, if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel like the video and also share the video